Want to learn to make the perfect chocolate chip cookie? One that even has Hershey chocolate bars in it? Come along. Let's get started making the best chocolate chip cookies ever. In this bowl, I have light brown sugar. I have granulated sugar. And I'm going to add some unsalted butter that's been melted and allowed to cool a little bit. So we're going to mix this up first. And in another bowl, which I'll show you in a minute, I have a flour mixture. And that flour mixture has flour, all-purpose flour, um, cornstarch, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. And that's been whisked together. And I'm doubling this recipe. And here's that flour mixture I'm selling you about. Once this has been combined, we're going to add large eggs one at a time until combined. And I just want to make sure the bottom is getting combined, and it is. Okay. Make sure stuff on the side is getting combined as well. Four tablespoons. There's two. Another tablespoon. There's our four. And Last step, I'm going to turn it down a little bit, just to add the chips. Now, I have milk chocolate chips in here. Let me show you those, which you can see right here on top. But I also have pieces of Hershey chocolate candy bars. Yes, it's the chocolate candy bars we buy in the store. You don't have to mix those too long. You just want them to combine in the batter. Now this will chill in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. And then we will form the cookie dough balls, which I will actually freeze and these freeze really well in a ziploc bag so you can have fresh chocolate chip cookies whenever you want to i'll be back when we get to that step okay this ended up being covered with saran wrap and being in the fridge a little over an hour it has to be in there for at least 30 minutes so now i'm going to i have a parchment line cookie sheet and I'm going to scoop them out and put them in the freezer for at least an hour and then we can bag them up in Ziploc bags and freeze them or if you want to bake some now's the time you would bake them I'm not going to show the whole process just going to show a few and then I'll come back and show you when it's time to bag them up And I'm going to show you scoop with the up close with all the chocolate, the chocolate chips, and the Hershey bars. So that way you get a chocolate chip cookie. That's actually a chocolate chip cookie because you'll have chips and their candy in each bite. You don't have to worry about leaving a lot of space between the cookies because I'm not baking these. They're going they're going into the freezer but I'm gonna keep going looks like I can get five on here 
Then I'll just keep going and fill it up. And then when it's been in there at least an hour in the freezer, I'll come back and show you me bagging them up. And how many we ended up with. Again, I doubled the batch. These have been in the fridge for an hour. Ended up at 35 here. And I had seven more here, so I got 42 out of the double batch. And I usually can get 12 cookies in these Ziploc bags. So I wrote the date that they were made, the name of the cookies, and the baking instructions. And all we do now is package them up. And then we put the Ziploc bag in the freezer, and then whenever you want to get fresh baked home made chocolate chip cookies, take out however many you want, bake them, eat them, and because it's chocolate, you'll be asleep in about 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, we get 12 in there. Get the air out of there a little bit. But there it is. It's now the next day. And I baked four of them. Here's an up close pick of one. Oh, I should. Did you see the inside of it? I'll go in. Wow. Perfect chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. Thanks for watching, family. The recipe is in the description if you want to give it a try. And this really is the perfect chocolate chip cookie. If you haven't already, like this video, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. Till the next video, bye for now, family.